What is one real trick that companies don't want you to know? If you make a good faith effort to pay medical bills they can't be sent to collections. Offer to pay 20 bucks a month till it's paid and the hospital or doc will often be willing to settle for half payment and closing the bill. Just get it in writing. I used to work at a PC repair shop and had to call HP warranty support in India almost every day. Talking with someone using a script plus language barrier equals aggravating and time consuming. I learned that if you select the option for Spanish you get transferred to a call center in Texas. From there you can just speak English. Yup, that's because most places that hire Spanish-speaking technicians are hiring bilingual ones. We actually told some of our customers that when they called our tech support department when I worked at an old router support company. You know the Mr. Clean Magic erasers that are so awesome? They are just melamine foam, which you can buy unbranded in bundle packs of 30 to 100 on eBay and Amazon for less than 25 cents each. When signing up for stuff where you don't need to verify your ID, specifically magazines, use a different name from your own to find out which companies are selling your information. I'm not sure who Dr. Dequarius McFlopperson 3 is, but I am not him. I used to work for a gas station on the side. When our tanks were filled the truck would go down the street resupplying all of the stations. People bitch about gas being bad from one brand, but it all came from the same refinery. I used to work at a call center that handled people cancelling services. We were paid based on how many people we saved from cancelling compared with the total number of potential saves. However certain times customers didn't count as potential saves, these people we just needed to get off the phone ASAP. If you want to cancel a service you want to not be a potential save. To do this I suggest stating that you are moving to another country. Cancelling cable? Say you're moving to the United Arab Emirates, it'll take two minutes. Just because a store is branded as a certain company doesn't mean it's owned and operated by that company. For example, if you don't like Shell Gas and decide to go to the Exxon down the street, Shell may still own and operate that store but fly Exxon's flag. They just pay Exxon a small fee to keep their branding up. I've never paid full price for Sirius XM radio. I received a free year with the purchase of my car. After that year was up they called me up to renew at something like $20-MO, why would I pay you $20-MO to listen to whatever you send me? when I could pay $10-MO to Spotify and listen to whatever I want. Sir, we can offer you 6 months of Sirius XM for $20. Would you be interested in that? Yep I don't want to be auto-billed, invoice me. I've performed this dance every 6 months for the past 3 years. There is or tons of free services that give you the ability to create a throwable email, disposable email, so you can sign, confirm the email, without having to use your own email. Edit, one that I'm using regularly is disposable. Com, from the old team that was managing Mininova. There are lots of companies that if you order from them online and stop at the last step and leave, within a couple of days you'll get an email offering you a substantial discount on what you were about to buy at full price. One thing that I find funny is a water bottling plant in Scotland. One factory and five different kinds come out. Marks and Spencer water is one of them. The water is exactly the same, but the price difference between the five brands is a lot. In Canada, if you don't want to put up with UPS's bullshit, add a box to your address, as follows. 123 Any Street App 6 should be replaced with 123 Any Street Box 6. This will cause the system to select Canada Post for shipping. Used to work at CVS for a little bit, I did not give a fuck, if you came bitching at me about coupons slash mispriced items slash etc, I will mark it down. How did I come to do this? When I started I used to call the manager every time a customer had a complaint and she just told me to give them the deals whenever it would happen and not to call her. I'm pretty sure it's like this for most places. But be nice at first, we assume you're gonna get bitchy and just end up giving you the deals. Stop using the big corporate, 
national flower companies that pay pennies on the dollar to local florist. Instead, call the same shops that the shithole 800 number company contracts to locally. Chances are they will give you a better deal, more flowers, and better quality simply because they actually get more money from you via direct sale. Florists hate 800 flower companies. It screws them out of profits, but they're forced to use them because so many people use the corporate flower brokers.